Welcome back to Bionic Uncensored. I'm Matt Rose, your host for today's episode. Today's episode is titled Just One Question. And you're probably asking, what is just one question? And I'm going to give kind of a day in the life as an application security professional or a uh, DevOps architect where the big wig, the executive to your company comes to you and says, hey, how's the security and risk in our applications? That's one question. But it really reminds me of, again, a movie quote from years ago, back to school, back to school with Rodney Dangerfield and the big uh, kind of uh, wrap up to the movie was he had to pass a test and one of the real jerk professors came up to him and said, I just have one, tw- one question in 27 parts. And that's really what you're dealing with when that executive comes to you and says, hey, what is the security or risk in my applications? That's a question, but it has 27 or 2,700 parts. And really trying to understand the difference of one question versus all the different permutations, iterations of risk or security or hacking methodologies is really, really complicated. So let's get this out of the session here. But really thinking about risk, there's really two types of risk. There's really structured and unstructured. The structured risk is really about everything you've probably been looking for for years. That goes into like things like OWASP, SANS, CWE, all the different types of ranking systems that people are out there. And all these AppSec tooling and scanning technologies that are really uh, looking for structured type vulnerabilities, SQL injection, cross-site scripting, privacy violations, but they all have to have a certain kind of recipe to really be uh, a risk and a vulnerability and they fit in a box. Well, guess what? Security risk does not fit in a box. A lot of times the vulnerabilities that are used to execute, you know, major breaches that you're reading about in the press is directly around something that's unique to your applications. It's how you develop your code. Without understanding unstructured risk, you're really opening yourself up to potential breach, potential risk, because it's not something that all these technologies are trying to find over and over and over again. It's something that's very unique. One example would be, you know, you have, and this is a real world example that uh, I've seen, is you have a uh, developer who connects to, let's say, some sort of service and a database, and that database has PII data associated with it, and they make a very small change to that application. They change this microservice. We'll just call this a microservice right here. That microservice in their world from a developer's world from a lens is okay. I have just changed one little thing. But now that opens up a new flow of data to or a new flow of communication to that PII data. One small change that's specific to you. This is something that would never be found by OWASP Top 10 or SANS or CWE because it's specific to the architecture of your application. So when you're thinking about risk, don't think about just structured risk. Think about the unstructured risk within your applications because that's kind of the the holy grail for a hacker is finding something that's unique that gives away valuable data. I'm Matt Rose. This is Bionic Uncensored. And when you think about one question, it's a lot bigger than that. Thanks for watching.